What's up guys? All right, we are waking up to another update and I'm super excited for this one because we finally have Navigate on Autopilot, the beta version. And I'm super excited because this is just one more step towards fully autonomous driving. Now, what's different between this and the normal Autopilot? Well, now not only has the interface changed with this blue line here, um, but now it'll help change freeways as well as get in the right lane for when freeways to transfer and by it'll show you kind of this icon right here it'll say um, go to this lane confirming with the turn stalk of course so it'll say go to the right lane or go to the left lane if that's where the freeway is and you're just going to confirm it'll change lanes here uh, before doing this you must go to your settings of course to activate it I forgot that the first time uh, you're going to uh, just put the beta version on and there's some settings that we're going to look at as well as changing lanes um, with freeways, it's also going to change lanes if there's a car in front of you that's super slow. And that's very nice because it'll show um, that there's a way around and it just keeps the drive kind of easier. All right, besides changing lanes to switch freeways, it'll also ask you to change lanes when it detects a car in front of you is slower. So it'll go ahead and tell you to go to the right to a faster lane and then you can go back to your normal lane after that. Uh, this, in order to do this, you have to go into your navigate, choose a uh, destination, and there's going to be something that pops up, we'll show you later in the video, it's going to say, uh, like, navigation on autopilot, and you're going to click it, when it's lit up, that means it's activated. Uh, this is only available on some freeways, I believe, or, um, some destinations, so just play around with that. Now, after this feature, we also have, uh, key fob, uh, accessibility now, so, you know, the Model 3, the main key is your phone as well as a key card. But now if you want a key fob, be a little more traditional, you're able to purchase one from Tesla and then add it on using this. Now, regenerative braking has also been increased. Uh, so that way you get more energy return to the battery when you're slowing down. First time testing the navigation beta version on autopilot. Um, I did try using it earlier and I forgot. You have to go into your settings to activate it. And here it is, navigate on autopilot, and you can customize it there. As far as the speed based lane changes, you can go disabled, mild average, or I like this Mad Max version. I'm gonna leave it here on mild because I'm not feeling too crazy right now, but I'll try all of them. And how you use it is we're gonna go here on navigate. We are going to go to the San Bernardino supercharger. Now, when you put that, you're gonna get this option right here on the left side by the directions for navigate on autopilot. All right, so we are now cruising on Navigate on Autopilot. As you can see on the user interface, you still have all the cars in front of us. You see that semi truck right in front of us. Please excuse my tire pressure low warning right there. Uh, I took care of that right after. Um, but as you can see on the interface, it's a little bit different. The two blue lanes on Autopilot will merge into one and that'll show that it's on Navigate on Autopilot. All right, so if you saw the car that just went in front of me and changed lanes, you're able to see how that car is able to adjust the speed accordingly. Now, upcoming, we have a merging lane on the right side. It'll actually split into two separate lanes, and we're gonna need to take that lane for the exit, so down on the user interface, it'll tell you to go right in order to continue on our route. Now, in order for us to go in the right lane, you're gonna have to confirm with the turn stalk, so I just put the right turn signal on now, it switches lanes, and it'll keep going on that straight blue line.
We're now approaching our exit. On the screen, it'll tell us to go right, confirmed by the turnstock. You're going to see it says in 400, 300, 200 feet that it's going to turn the navigation off and it's going to continue on regular autopilot as you can see with the two blue lanes. So this is it taking the off ramp to the exit and I'm going to turn the autopilot off, retake control and retake it from the roads. Alright so we just got done supercharging, got a full charge, we're back on the freeway and we're going to take a look at how the car will take on merging lanes. So getting on the freeway we're going to slow down right uh, before this red car. It wasn't directly in front of us so it was nice that the car picked up that. The interface will get a bigger lane and it'll see slow down into one. So merging lanes it turned out pretty well actually. Alright, we're switching freeways now and this lane will actually split into two. The car will turn on the turn signal itself and take the lane needed to go to your destination. This is super cool and actually super trippy to just be behind the wheel of it. The turn signal by itself and just knowing where to go, this was pretty awesome to see. All right, this is freeway number two. We are going on to the next freeways, which means more merging lanes, and it is during rush hour, so this is perfect time to test this feature out. You still have blind spot detection working. You have those red lines going off every time. Here we're merging lanes. You see that lane get bigger right there. It's gonna close down. Speed up accordingly. We're gonna have to go in the left lane again. It says confirm lane change to follow route, so put the lane left turn signal on. It'll slowly creep up into the next lane. I later switched the lane change option to Mad Max mode just to feel it. And it's actually not Mad Max, but you think it's not very aggressive. If anything, it's like my normal driving, if not a little bit slower. So don't be afraid to use that. I'm going to keep it on Mad Max because I do like changing lanes a little bit faster. The uh, mild one is still a little bit too slow for me. Uh, but the Mad Max is working out pretty well, so I'm liking that. A cool thing to point out over here is I am trying to change lanes into the left. You can see some cars are not letting me through and the car isn't forcing itself into the lane and cutting someone off. It's really waiting until it has enough clearance to switch lanes and that just makes it a safer drive. Alright so it is telling us to go into the right lane to follow the route. We're going to take that exit so we're going to creep up into the right lane. And you're going to see the message coming up soon where it's going to tell you to take back the wheel or it's going to go back and revert back to auto steer and regular autopilot. So you'll see that 400, 300, 200 feet and you're going to go ahead and get off the road. And I do like the added safety feature how it stays on auto steer just in case you're not paying attention. It'll still stay within that lane and come to a stop if there's a car in front of you. Alright, here's another clip of the car transitioning freeways. It's going to adjust the speed according to the slope and the curvature of the ramp. I did try this on one of the more circular ramps where the speed limit was around 25 miles per hour. The car didn't seem like it 
like that. It went down to 15, sometimes 12, and I ended up just taking over because people were behind me. I didn't want to make anyone mad. Uh, not really good on those uh, sharp curves yet, so I'm hoping it's going to improve over time. Now, if you're following a car that is slower than your designated speed limit that you set for the car, you can say confirm lane change to move into a faster lane. So I had the limit set at 79, so it's going to change lanes over here, move over to the left, and go back to that speed limit that we want. It's pretty cool how the car can detect the car is going slower and if there's a faster lane available. So overall, navigation on autopilot is a pretty awesome feature. There's still a few bugs that have to be worked out, but with constant software updates, it's going to be constantly improving. It's been super fun to play around and it's been making driving a lot easier actually. So good job Tesla on everything. Can't wait for more. What's up guys? Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you guys have any more questions about owning or purchasing a Tesla, you can go ahead and follow me on social media. Twitter at Tesla underscore young or Instagram at young Tesla slide in the DMS and ask me any questions. I got you guys. If you guys are thinking about making that big purchase and you're ready to move on and you want six months of free supercharging, go ahead and use my code in the description below. I would truly appreciate that. And if you like this video, leave a like comment, subscribe. Hey, we'll see you next time.